In Austin, CityShare and Austin.City are using blockchain technology to create a localized, intimate connection between businesses and consumers. Um, primarily, it's fighting against the extraction economy, enabling the citizens of a city to get value from their city itself, whereas currently, um, many companies are selling things based upon the city, renting hotels based upon the city, all of that leveraging the assets of the city, but it never benefits the citizens. Um, as an example, often you can book a hotel online and a third of the money goes to the hotel booking agency, never makes it to your city, they don't hire one person in your city, and often the hotel itself is making less profit than that company did the booking. So the idea is to create a system to allow the citizens to benefit directly from their actions and actions happening with their city. So with our platform, you can book hotels in the city and the money stays in the city. You can book a table at a restaurant and the, that booking stays in the city. Um, and soon you can buy things from businesses on the system from the city, the money stays in the city, from businesses in the city. So what's next and how can this grow? So we have um, probably between 13 and 20,000 city domain names. But we also are doing other top level domains like dot .fashion. We have 5,000 dot .fashion domain names. So all the cities dot .fashion, if you can imagine. And so we see that the localization is, is going to become a realization. People are going to realize that I know where I live. I can type, if I'm interested in fashion, I can type Austin.fashion. It makes sense. Well, we just launched London. Um, we came to an agreement recently with Rio. We came to an agreement recently with Sydney, Australia. And that's just naming the ones I can remember at this moment and the ones I'm involved with.